हेलो फ्रेंड्स अवर टुडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट वायरलेस प्रिंसिपल्स एज वी नो दैट वाईफाई डिवाइस और वाईफाई राउटर इज यूज टू कनेक्ट विद द रेडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी और द रेडिएशन विद अवर लैपटॉप सो इफ वी आर नॉट एबल टू कनेक्ट अवर डिवाइस विद स्विच और राउटर स्विच और राउटर देन वी कैन डायरेक्टली कनेक्ट विद वायरलेस ओके लाइक माई मोबाइल इज नॉट एबल टू कनेक्ट विद स्विच okay my tab is not able to connect with uh, switch or router so i can connect it with wireless router so today we have to discuss about wireless principles like within wireless what are the things used and uh, how wifi router is work okay so uh, first of all i have a point non overlapping wi wifi channel okay so in non overlapping wifi channel what is this Okay, first of all, we need to uh, know about that. It might be obvious that the wireless device, okay, for example, this is wireless device or any access point which has antennas, all the wireless device and access point should all be capable of operating on the same band. Okay, let me explain you in different manner. For example, uh, a five gigahertz. wireless phone can communicate only with the access point that offer wifi service on 5 gigahertz channel okay so this is my mobile phone it has a 5 gigahertz frequency so it is communicate with the wifi service if this access point if this access point provides the 5 gigahertz channel okay in addition the device and access point must also share a compatibility with the part of 802.11 11 this is the standard by ieee 802.1 standard this port okay as we know that ieee 802.11 wifi standards evolves and develops new amendments in the functionality of the get purposed so we have to think about these things and it is common to see the amendments we still use to distinguish specific functions so no overlapping wifi channel is example of this after that we have ssid what is ssid ssid is service set identifier okay so it is known as your broadcast id actually okay when for example you are going to connect your laptop with your wifi router then you can check there are so many wireless names are there okay so ssid is your service set identifier service set identifier okay it is also under the 802.11 wireless networking standard it is known as service set it is your broadcast id of your wifi name okay for example uh, i have xyz private limited company okay so i want to connect with my uh, wifi network so the name of the company should be xyz private limited and easily we can connect with the help of service set identifier and when it is connected with the service set identifier after giving its wireless password then the automatically my pc's mac address is assigned with my wifi router within uh, we have so many modes we have so many frequencies are there okay so mac address is assigned with my uh, wifi channel okay the third part is my radio frequency rf okay now in wired link the electrical signal is used for example if you are working with switch or router sorry what is known as rf rf is your one second ah radio frequency radio frequency is used in wireless because if you want to send data with one system to another system with wire then you know that we have electrical signal is used electrical signal is used at one end and at another end so wire itself is a continuous and conductive so that signal can propagate rather easily but in wireless we don't have any physical standard so we have to carry our signal with some radiation so that signals that carry our electrical signals over air or free space okay the radiations this is done with radio frequency so radio frequency is used to connect our wireless uh, devices with each other 
like sender and receiver easily can get the information and send the data from one interface to another interface okay so the last point in wireless is encryption because wireless networks are complex okay so encryption is uh, important in this uh, in this time because if we don't have any wireless network security so anybody can access our data easily within our given range okay so why we need uh, frequent uh, why we need encryption in this so first of all i will remove this okay so encryption is used for like identify the endpoints of wireless connection okay you want to verify the end users you have to protect with ws dropping okay you want to uh, prevent your ws drop and after that you want to protect from data tampering you also need encryption technique so in encryption you can use authentication okay so we have authentication also wep privacy as well as uh, wpa privacy this time open authentication is like your wifi router with free wifi there have no wifi password so you can connect easily wep is wired equivalent privacy this one is in encryption wep is wired equivalent privacy but it is a non secure nowadays so nowadays we are using wpa wireless protected access it is secure because in this encryption part is more we can use our special case sensitive words like at the rate hash and the percentage sign in this so these were the wireless principle thank you